Hey everyone, this is Craig from Orapup, helping you to solve every Oracle performance problem you encounter. Now in this video tutorial, I'm going to talk and I'm going to demonstrate how to identify and relate Oracle Client and Oracle Foreground process together. But we're going to do this from the operating system using the PS command. All right, so what's the big deal, right? I mean, why do we need to know this? What's the benefit? Well, have you ever needed to know or wanted to know how to identify an Oracle client process and its associated foreground process from outside of Oracle. What I mean is from the operating system perspective, just using a common command like PS. Well, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we're gonna use that super flexible OS command, the PS command. It's very cool. And it's the first step in relating to what we see from an internal Oracle perspective using V$ views to what we see from an OS perspective using a command like PS. Now our focus in this video tutorial is the relationship between the client and the foreground process and a little bit about how they communicate and knowing how to figure out what the foreground process is doing on behalf of its client process. Now this gets a little more tricky and interesting when the client process does not reside on the database server, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So what I did is I created a client process called Tune AI, and this essentially is just a copy of SQL Plus, but I did this just to show you that you know, any client process will work doing this demonstration right here. Now what I've done, I've started the process, but I have not actually connected to the Oracle database yet. I just started running it. And you can see here that we actually found the Tune AI process, but there is no associated Oracle foreground process. Not yet anyways. And you can see, even by doing a PS here, we can't find an Oracle foreground process. Now I went back to Tune AI and I'm actually gonna to connect to the database and it looks like I got connected. So let's go back to the OS and now let's see if we can find the Oracle foreground process and we have. We can see it's right below the Tune AI process. Now this is really important. Look at the process ID of the client process. That's the Tune AI process. It's 64939. Now right below it is the Tune AI's foreground process. That's the Oracle Prod 50. Now, now how do I know it's its foreground process? Well, you can see the parent process ID of the foreground process is 64939, which is exactly the process ID of the Tune AI client process. So we can see right away there's the relationship, even with the operating system process IDs, between the client and the foreground process. So we're back in SQL Plus for the Tune AI client process, but we're going to exit and I'm going to reconnect. But notice how I'm reconnecting. Now I got the username and password, but at prod50. And that's the identifier, right, that's in TNS names that is going to connect me to the database through SQL Net. Now, now look at the situation. It's quite a bit different. We can see the client process ID is 65066. That's the Tune AI process. And we can see the what, what we think is going to be Tune AI's foreground process, which is the Oracle Prod 50. Now notice a couple things are different. First of all, the process or the parent process ID of Oracle Prod 50 is one, right? So we know that, of course, the Tune AI is not, you know, did not spawn or actually create that process. Right? But notice something else in the name of the process that Oracle Prod 50, it says local equals no. That means this client process did not directly make the connection to the foreground process. It had to go through SQL Net, and that's why we have the number one there and why we see the no. Well, that's it for this video tutorial. I hope that was useful to you, and I hope you have a chance to go to my website and check out all the free stuff like the Oracle Performance Focus Tools and the presentations and everything else there. So thanks for listening, and I wish you guys all the best in your Oracle Performance Tuning endeavors.